Okay, so I got this question from one of our viewers and I thought it was kind of interesting, so I'm gonna make a video out of it. So basically what we have, we have a line separated list here of items and it's all in one cell. And we wanna be able to basically just filter this to items that have the word laptop in them. And it could be really any other word, but in this case, we're gonna just filter this to items that have the word laptop. So let's see how we're gonna tackle this. So the first thing I'm gonna to have to do to be able to do this, uh, I'm gonna to have to split all of these to separate cells. So I don't want these to be in a single cell. I want to basically put each line here in its own cell. So to be able to do that, I'm gonna use split function. And split function basically splits text by a character, right? So if I use split function, I'll use this cell as my text, comma, and then I have to provide delimiter. So basically I need to provide what character I'm splitting this by. So if you were splitting by like a dash, you would type a dash here as the character you're splitting by. But in this case, we wanna split by the character that separates to a new line. Now I'm not exactly sure what the character is because the new line character can be different depending on how you do your lines. So first of all, let's try to figure out what is that character for the new line. I'm just gonna hit enter. Obviously it's not gonna do anything because we're splitting by dash and there are no dashes. So this is what I'm gonna do. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this uh, function called code and what this is gonna return, it's gonna basically return us the code of the character we're looking at. So if I, for example, do A as the character in quotes, it's basically gonna return character A is character number 97. So that's what this code function does. It basically just gives you the number for that character. Now there's also another function called uh, car, if I'm not mistaken, and then if we provide a character number, in this case, that same 97, that will return that same A. So basically this is just the reverse. This, you give it the character, it gives you the number, and this one, you give it the number, it gives you the character. Now, what I'm gonna do, I want to get to that character right after this laptop space Apple, right after that to figure out what creates that new line. So if I use the mid function, mid function, you give it the text, comma, then you give it the starting number. So for example, if I do two, comma, and then you give number of characters. So I'm gonna do one. So basically in this case, I'm saying, grab me starting from the second character, one character. So if I hit enter, it gives me A because the second character here is A and then one character, that's pretty much it. So if I change this two to three, that's gonna give us P, which is the third character. So now we can get to the character we need. So now if I look here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, I believe that's 13. That should get us to that character. And you see how it kind of spaced out the line because I just grabbed that space character. So now to figure out what that character code is for this, I will just refer to that cell in my code function here and see the character code is 10. So character 10 is what's after that E that creates the space. So if we do this function and do 10, that will see create a space. So why do I need this? Because now I can use this. This gives us that character space. And now if I go inside of my split function, I can just remove this dash and replace it by that character 10, which is gonna be the space. So if I hit enter, now you see it splits now by that character, which means we basically just split each line to its own cell. Now, I don't really need all of this anymore. So I'm gonna just remove that. So that so far creates cells by themselves. So if I take that and I put it inside of a transpose function, 
from both ends, that will basically transpose moves columns to rows, rows to columns. In this case, we have all of these in columns. Now it's gonna move to rows. Basically what I did so far, I took this list of values and I just moved it to separate cells. Now, what we can do with this, we can use the filter function because we have some cells with values in them to filter it out. So the way filter function works, we have to get it some sort of true and false statement for all of these. So trues will stay, falses will basically disappear. So let's see how we're gonna do that logical test. So I'm gonna use search function and search function is a function, let's do this question mark so we get the help. Basically we get what we're searching for. So if I'm searching for, let's say laptop, comma, where we're searching for that is the second parameter, which is this. And then we have the third argument, which is optional. I'm gonna just pass that. I'm gonna close parentheses, hit enter. So this gives us one. So let me drag this down to see what that means. So we get one because we were able to find the word we're searching for, laptop, and it was found in the first position of this text. Now, if we look at this one, see it says nine because it's the laptop, the character L is character number nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's where it starts. So we're gonna get a number every time it's in this text and value every time it's not. Now I'm gonna remove this drag down, delete, go back to this. And I'm gonna make this an array formula by removing this B5 and searching for that in this entire column of values. If I had enter, this is not gonna work as an array. We have to wrap this inside of a function array formula. And now we have an array, so it outputs this whole thing. And what I can do now, I can take this and put it inside of another function. Actually, I'm gonna put this here is number and we're gonna check if that's a number. And the reason I'm doing this is because every time here in this list, we get a number, that's where we have laptop in it. And every time we have a value, that's where we don't have it. So we're gonna check if it's a number, and if it is, we know it has the word in it. So I'm gonna do this. See, we get true for anything that has laptop in it and false for everything else. Now, the reason we needed this is because we can now take this is number. I don't need that array formula part, just is number part. I'm gonna copy that, hit escape. And I can use this inside of a function called filter. And filter, see it has a range. So this is gonna be my range, comma. And then it has the condition. So my condition is gonna be basically what I just made, that logical true and false all right, this. So I'm just gonna paste that. I'm gonna X out of this. So I'm gonna just paste this is number function with this search function in it. And then I need to do another parentheses close to actually close my filter function. So if I hit enter, I should get a list for just the ones that have the word laptop in them. I don't need this because I was using this inside of my filter function. So that's this filter function, it's filtering these. Now, I don't want to have this array on the left. So what I want to do instead of referring to this B5 through B11, I'm gonna go back here and take this formula that gives me that whole thing, copy it, escape, go back, and replace this range. And we have it in two places with our formula. This is one, and this is the second one right here hit enter, and that gives me this. So this formula, which probably gets out of the screen a little bit, let me zoom out a little bit. Here we go. So this formula gives us filtered data. So that's almost here. So we got the list, but we want them again like this, separated by lines. So to do that, we're gonna have to join it. So this is this list. I'm gonna copy that, hit escape. I'm gonna go here and do equals join. 
And as a join function, let's open this question mark. The first one is delimiter. What do you want to put between those joint items? So if I do a dash, something like this, do a comma and paste that whole thing. And I need another close parentheses in the end. I'm going to hit enter. That will basically just take all of these and join them using those dashes. Because as a character here, I did the dash. Now what I need is this line separators. So the line character, if you remember, if we do that thing, grab the character number 10, which was the one that was creating the new line, we should be able to use that to create this. So now it's going to use the line character to create that text, which should be pretty much what we're looking for. And since I used all of those arrays here, I don't really need this and I don't really need this. This will work by itself. So we also don't need this because that was our goal. So I'm going to delete that and that's our final result. And that should do it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.